You know why Go Green slowed down? Couldn't make money off it. It didn't make any financial sense. The WNBA attendance, not good. The WNBA ratings, not good. The WNBA salaries, not good. It's not working because you, the consumer, don't want it, and I'm never going to cover anything because I feel it's a movement. I will cover women's sports should be covered when they're great. Otherwise, you're patronizing them. You're patting them on the head. You go, girl. I'm not interested. I cover the United States women's national soccer team. They're awesome. They're fun. They're athletic. They're really good. Uh, women's tennis, we talked Serena yesterday several times. Cover that. But I'm not covering the WNBA because the consumers don't like it. And when sports become movements, and I've heard this for even Adam Silver, who I love, the commissioner of the NBA, it says, I'm disappointed. I thought we'd be farther along. I wish people in power would get... That's not our job. The organic movement works because it makes people money. Go green, die down. It doesn't. You can't cover stuff because it's a movement. These are companies, Fox, ESPN, NBC, CBS Sports. Get out of the movement business. If it ain't- yes, sir. And you heard it from Colin. He's speaking the truth about the product stinks. You're patronizing these women because you basically just have their league up there because they're bitching and moaning. Meanwhile, they're losing money every single year. Their product sucks. The customer support sucks. The gameplay sucks. The energy level sucks. I'm not speaking like this to bash the WNBA. I used to watch the WNBA when it first started. And I'm talking about with Cheryl Swoop, Cynthia Cooper, and Tina Thompson when they used to play on the Houston Comets. And they won the first three or I think the first four championships. You have Lisa Leslie, Dawn Staley, Tamika Catchings, Diana Taurasi, Tisha Pinachero. You have quote-unquote icons um Tamika Witherspoon I believe her name is you have Maya Moore who is basically the best player of the last decade and she's not even playing in the league she's not even interested in the league she took time off from the league to get her husband presently who is her husband right now out of jail for a charge that he did not commit she's more concerned about that shit and you're trying to blame so-called black men for the lack of support in the WNBA like I said, this is going to be the first and the last time you hear of WNBA's Laishia Clarendon because it makes no sense. Blame the so-called black man for all of your problems. Meanwhile, you are part of your own problem. You're not trying to hear any suggestions from a so-called black man. And I'm referring to Draymond Green. I'm going to get into that later on. You're not going to hear any suggestions. You're not going to hear any advice. You're not going to hear anything about what you should try to change, what you should try to do, this, that, of the, this, that, and the third. You're not looking at why your ratings suck. You're not looking at why people are not trying to watch. Women aren't even watching the WNBA. And this is supposed to be a all-women's thing, ain't it? So we got to really understand what is the problem. Your, your league is becoming a league full of man-hating lesbians, full of women that want to go by she, her, they, them, he, him, pronouns, when people are not interested in none of that shit. Come up with solutions. You want to try to blame black men? This Lashia Clarendon is trying to blame the exact individual who she's trying to become. She directs, she... She acknowledges those pronouns. That's what she wants to go by. In Wikipedia, she basically is it's stated that she is a man. If you are a man, why the hell are you playing in the WNBA? Somebody make it make sense. I'm asking for a friend. This is this individual right here. All these Pat Mahomes, racially ambiguous, mad mulatto individuals that are mad at so-called black men for all of their problems. It is what it is. Let's read. Lacia Clarendon is not happy. The New the New York Liberty player recently took to Twitter to voice her frustration with what Draymond Green recently said about the state of women's sports. Instead of addressing him directly, she blamed all black men for not supporting the league. The amount of black men who drag our league and blame women for their problems while not making the connection to how that's exactly what white people do to you regarding your race just blows my mind. That's the double double whammy of being black and a woman and see the problem here is man when you want to continuously call yourself black anybody could label themselves black black is only a color out the damn crayon box so people need to stop referring themselves as a color if you really want change not to digress that's another video but she's talking about 
I don't even really want to break down what she said in this dumbass quote. Let's just talk about what Draymond Green said. He tried to come up with some solutions. He tried to come up with some answers to the problems, but nobody wants to hear it coming from the so-called black man. You don't want to hear it in your bigger brother in the bigger league that makes way more money, more advertisements, more endorsements, more publicity, more ratings, more support, more fans. You don't want to hear what he has to say. So just blame all black men. Just put us all under the umbrella for your problems and why your league sucks let's check it out the golden star the golden state warrior star wanted to raise awareness for women's sports but some felt like he missed the mark when he raised points that women have been discussing for years quote you make those that say they stand for women actually stand up. The NBA wasn't always the global game, the global game that it is today. It wasn't always driving as much revenues as it does today, Green tweeted. But there were people behind it, building the platform and more importantly, telling individual stories and building up the interest in the players. That's how the game took off. Check it out. And when he was talking about Paige Beckers as to why they could create, they could build her up in the WNBA. They could make her the next, quote unquote, let's say the equivalent to, let's say, Trey Young, Steph Curry. You know what I mean? Because she's the next best thing since sliced bread. Let's let's be, let's keep it funky. She's, the, she's a blondie that can ball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And she plays for UConn. That's why she does not need to leave. Stay right there. Why do why doesn't the WNBA push their big stars? Diana Taurasi, Sue Bird, Skylar Diggs. You have Della Don, but 95 to 98 percent of these women are lesbians. And I'm keeping it funky with you for the casual fan. For most part is the casual, the conservative Caucasian. They're not interested in watching all of this LGBT shit. You're complaining about the same thing. Isn't insanity insanity going about the same thing the same way, expecting different results? You're complaining about this for years, but you're not understanding what you're actually doing. Draymond says, you make those who that, stand, that say they stand for women actually stand up. You have all these ads you have all these companies you have all these execs and individuals that want to patronize women they want to say we stand with woman equality all the things of that nature meanwhile they're not making any advertisements any billboards they're not putting them on any of their pages they're not building up these individual stories they're not building up any rivalries they're not building shit all they're doing is complaining they didn't want to blame it on men meanwhile you're not even blaming it on women. You're not blaming it on the homosexuals that you support. You're not blaming it on Asian men, Latinos, so-called white men. You're not blaming it on anybody else. So you, you put the blame on the so-called black man to why your league sucks. It doesn't make any sense. And then when you have a notable individual like a Draymond Green try to tell you ways to go about trying to make the push to make your league better everybody wants to say he missed the mark you're not hearing us we've been trying this for years things like that how about you stop using people that want to come through with the little small advertisements you need to make them serious you need to stop having them use you only to patronize you for some little small ass issue like the black lives matter thing to where y'all want to knee to things like you want to get a gm fired or an owner fired i forgot there was something like that that had happened to where they was she was uh there was an owner that was talking about taking a knee things like that people aren't interested in that you're already trying to be a woke league not only are you a majority homosexual league now you're becoming a woke league you're talking about the social justice nonsense that nobody wants to hear everybody wants to see you play basketball but you have to make your game exciting the nba made the game exciting because steph curry changed the game he's making all these youngsters want to get their shot straight they're shooting with the elbow straight they're making sure they have the gooseneck when they flick the wrist and they follow through they're making sure they're working on their skills their their stamina their endurance because they're running around setting screens things like that the day of the lebrons is basically like the day of the dinosaurs you're 6'10 chiseled 
athletes is going to be a day of the past because now you're going to have your slinky, your lanky, slim athletes that could do a lot of skill work. Where are those in the WNBA? I'll let you sit on that. Here he goes. Who's building up y'all platform? Who's telling the individual stories of how great y'all are, building the interest in transforming women's basketball into a global game? Nobody, Draymond, because nobody is interested in a group of man-hating lesbians that have the envy of a penis, that hate men, and want to talk about all this woke shit. I'm sorry, nobody wants to watch that. It's not interesting. They, they made suggestions about lowering the rim. They didn't want to hear that. Women, men want to see women dunk on each other. Men are giving the WNBA the last straw and they keep complaining. They're not trying to adjust the game. They're not trying to make it any better. They feel like men are just going to watch you just because they're women. That's not that's not going to happen. You have women that would rather watch stories on Snapchat and TikTok than the WNBA. You have to ask why is that? Because those media platforms are more entertaining they're more addicting you have women that are watching the WNBA because they're watching it because they're attracted to a Steph Curry they're attracted to a LeBron or the big names there's no man there's no woman that there's no men that are watching the WNBA like I want a piece of who I'll let you fill in the blank you had Skylar Diggins until she got all masculine, trying to compare herself to the weaker men of the WNBA and things like that, even though the dude that's riding the bench on the WNBA will bust your ass. We got to stop doing these false equivalencies because they make no sense. It's all hypothetical bullshit. Stop it. Here he goes, man. It's, quote, it's hypocritical because the same companies that are telling women empowerment are not putting their money where their mouth is, Green said. Call on these companies to support y'all, to infuse capital in the, into the business. Stop allowing them to yell woman empowerment for the look. No company grows without funding. Y'all business can grow with the proper funding and storytelling. Make these huge companies commit money to y'all because... Make these huge companies commit money to y'all cause. That's empowering or don't yell woman empowerment. So how so how don't they understand that? You have all these companies that want to talk about woman empowerment. Meanwhile, they don't empower the woman in ways that would uplift their league so that they could stop bitching and complaining. They use y'all. They have y'all throw on these tele they have you throw on these t-shirts. They have you put their advertisements on your jerseys, even though nobody is watching them. So not only they're just losing money by patronizing you, but you guys could come up with a way to build up interest, but nobody wants to hear that. So he says those things in a series of tweets because he's talking to the people, the notable individuals that want to cry about social justice, equality in sports, equal play, equal revenue, and things like that. But nobody wants to hear him. So let's go ahead and see what he says. Look what this... So you have... Now you have individuals that want to reply to this Laishia clearing it. <laughs> You got got look, you got talking about Kyrie, you're talking about Avery Bradley, LeBron, and Chris Paul, who all made donations or made some type of mood or push to help the WNBA. Meanwhile, she's blaming all the so-called black men that have not done anything for their league. Let's keep it going. He says, look. We have this guy. He says, OK, but that's not the argument she was making. Her entire argument was that black men hate the WNBA. Don't move the goalposts. In 2013, ESPN said that their WNBA audience was majority male, as it had been for years. 66% of the viewers were male. Almost half were African-Americans. Viewership for the 19 game pro broadcast for the 2014 regular season was an average of 240k all right that just goes to show you who are the majority of the watchers so-called african-american your so-called black men are watching the wnba more than anybody to this day just because they enjoy the sport let's keep it going 60% of the viewers of WNBA games are men. The majority of WNBA fans are black. Do the math. Jesus. 
Keep going. I hope that black men that do watch that WNBA stop watching now. In all honesty, they're not going to be watching it because a lot of the men that are watching it, they're watching it because they like what they see, but they're not going to like what they see as the league becomes more and more lesbian overnight. You're f- nobody's watching it like, I want a piece of Britney Griner. Nobody is doing that, bro. <laughs> you got a lot of girls that got strap-ons in their backpacks that are hazing women in the locker rooms. My bad, that's just a rumor. You could check up on it yourself. Got another dude says, not y'all proving their point right in the comments. <laughs> what was her point? Men of all races slander the WNBA, yet majority of the viewership is black men. Why isn't she calling for the support of white men since she's married to one? Damn. <laughs> Yo, when people want to send those tweets out on Twitter, man, be ready for the smoke. (laughs) Yo, what's wrong with them expecting more out of black men than white women? As a white woman, I can vouch for our collective unreliability on these matters. I would love for more of us to support women in sports, but I'm not sure if it'll ever happen. It won't happen because y'all not interested in watching women. Y'all want to watch men jump up and down, run around, get sweaty and things like that. Y'all not interested in watching women who want to be men. Y'all don't y'all don't want to watch that. Women aren't interested in that because the game isn't flashy. It's not exciting. It's slow paced. It's like watching a game at the WM. It's like watching a game at the YMCA. Let's keep it funky. You got another dude that says there are more of you than us. What happened to women supporting women? Didn't black women support y'all during the suffrage movement? You can't simply tune into a game to support your fellow woman. You know y'all did the same thing at the ballot box when HRC ran, right? <laughs> Yo, man, listen, man. They, they're not trying to come up with answers. Shaking my head. I guarantee it's more black men that can name, never mind, Flourish Missy. We always got to get kicked for no reason. <laughs> On today's episode of Let's Blame Black Men for Everything, this bitch. <laughs> Laishia Clarendon, man. She wants to be a so-called black man. She's married to a white woman, bro. And then she's wondering why they are losing support. Not to mention this woman had got her breasts removed, the tissue. She got surgery to get the tissue removed so she could have a flat chest, so she could resemble more of a man. Look what this woman, look what she looks like. She's right here. <laughs> Yo, man, you can't make this shit up. Come on, bro. She's married to a damn white woman. But meanwhile, you're not looking for support from all demographics. The only so-called black men are the problem. It doesn't make any sense. This is why men are getting tired of y'all. They're getting tired of y'all just saying any type of bullshit. Even in men that the that the verbiage does not even apply to are just speaking up because they're tired of y'all slandering black men just because y'all feel like y'all could do that. Just because everybody feels like the so-called black man is a punching bag. Whatever, man. This dude goes, you already know, with the rainbow color box. You already know, man. Look at this shit. Come on, bro. Black lesbians hate black men and continue to blame black men for their problems. It doesn't make any sense, bro. The list goes on, man. (laughs) Yo, man, that's it for the article, man. We got the WNBA that's full of so-called black lesbians that hate so-called black men. Meanwhile, they want to be a so-called black man. So we have to understand that we're dealing with people with mental issues. We got people that want to be called pronouns. We have people that are having a baby, yet they don't want to release the gender of the baby. Do you understand the shit that we're dealing with? And this is the type of product that y'all are putting on the TV screen for people to watch. Nobody wants to watch this shit. You got people that are talking about we're having gender reveals. Meanwhile, you have people in this LGBTQ community I already said it. I don't understand how they're a community when they don't procreate with each other. You have people in that community talking about why are they? That is so sexist to have a gender reveal. There's nothing more misogynistic than trying to say that you want a boy for your son or da 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 da. You have you got people in this community, people that are in this league that are making comments like that, and you think that people are gonna want to watch you play fucking basketball? 
And meanwhile, you have Draymond Green, who is a notable figure in, a, in the NBA because of the hard work that he put in, the grind and sweat that he put in. And you guys don't want to hear what he has to say. You guys just want to shun what he says, shame him for what he says. And then this girl wants to say this. I'm going to read this tweet one more time. The amount of black men who drag our league and blame women for their problems while not making the connection to how that's exactly what white people do to you regarding your race just blows my mind that's the double whammy of being black and a woman how are you black and a woman when the league when the website is basically saying that you call yourself a man so how are you so i guess you're just a woman when it's only beneficial to you but then you want to be a man when you want to sleep with a woman with the strap on and shit like that you got to understand the product that you're putting out there people you're putting product like this. Who the hell wants to watch you? And we're talking about the heterosexual dynamic. How can you draw in individuals that are heterosexual to watch your game? Because there are a lot of heterosexuals that watch the WNBA, but they are the last of a dying breed because they're getting tired of the bullshit product that you are putting out. We're patronizing these women because their product is not luring anybody in we're only watching them because they're women and because some of them are attractive and when i mean some of them i mean a minute percentage of the league because a lot of them are tatted up dykes a lot of them are stud muffins that want to be men they have penis envy they travel around with strap-ons the list goes on. I don't want to keep going. But like I said, I'm not trying to bash this league because I used to enjoy watching the WNBA. But when you have your best player in Maya Moore, who's not even interested in coming back, you have to ask, why is that? The problem isn't black men. The problem is the WNBA within itself. You could talk about the NBA to where the times that teams have lost money. But you know what? The teams that were making money made up for that loss. So they don't even look at that loss. If a team in the WNBA loses money, they're hit because... Not for nothing, all of the teams in the WNBA are losing money, bro. We're talking about tens of millions of dollars that the NBA is losing for patronizing these complaining women. Talking about you should be paid this, that, and the third. How? When you're not bringing in the revenue, the owners are losing money. I'm surprised that they're not selling their stocks. I'm surprised the WNBA is still going on, bro. When I say that Diana Taurasi was my favorite player, I can't even tell you the last game that I've watched her play for the Phoenix Mercury, and that's sad when I'm sitting here telling you that I have no problem watching the league. I just have the problem with the agendas that y'all push because not everybody gives a damn about gay and homosexual relationships. Nobody gives a shit about that. How about y'all push more marriages? How about y'all push more heterosexual shit and things like that, and more people will be drawn to the league. And a lot of lesbians and a lot of homosexuals are not going to be feeling what I'm saying. But the truth hurts. It is what it is. Stop complaining then. How about you put your channel, how about you put your league on a gay network and see the ratings then? Because homosexuals not even watching the WNBA. And y'all got to ask, why is that? <laughs> You can't make this shit up, yo. A lot of dudes are getting tired of y'all women or y'all stud muffins. Y'all, whatever y'all want to label yourselves as, they're getting tired of y'all bitching and moaning. Draymond Green is basically speaking for a lot of people when he's talking about come through with the solutions. You have all these corporations that are using y'all, putting the advertisements on y'all jerseys, and they are not helping to push y'all. Not in no commercial time, not in no advertisements on no damn Instagram, things like that. All we are hearing about is sue bird is married to this girl named Me megan rapino we're hearing about britney griner she barely could dunk she wants to be a dude things are things like that bro we're hearing all the wrong shit that none of that shit is getting drawn is gonna draw any consumers bro that's why the wnba is going nowhere fast 
<laughs> it's a dumpster fire and it's a cesspool of sadness, man. I'm speaking from a dude. I'm coming. This is coming from the perspective of a guy that used to enjoy watching the WNBA because it was competitive. You had, like I said, you had this individual, Tisha Pinachero, that used to play in Sacramento. And that's another thing. You got these franchises that were initiated in this league and they're not even there no more. I don't think the Charlotte Sting is there no more and the, and the team from Sacramento isn't there no more. But Pinachero was flashy with the passes. Who do you have that could resemble a, a Pistol Pete, a Jason Williams, a White Chocolate with the flashy passes, somebody that is making the game exciting? It's not Laishia Clarendon because this is the first time I've heard of her. Diana Taurasi is, is getting older, bro. She is old. She is a dinosaur in this league. So who is taking the reins? Maya Moore is not interested. She is on her love seat with her husband. The league does not even promote does not even promote marriages, bro. So until the league promotes marriages and more normal ways of living, you can you can look at normal whatever way you want to. The league is going nowhere fast, man. It is what it is, yo. Let me know what you think, man. That's about it.